Hello again, friends. I hope you're doing well this week. One of the people that I often mention is a mentor of mine named Margaret Markison. She facilitates a group that I am part of where we talk about life as a pastor and our own spiritual health and what we're dealing with. Anyway, she's also um, she's also a writer for a number of or for a blog. And one of the things she wrote the other day was this. She said, "Whenever you feel resentful, it is a sign that you are probably taking on more responsibility than you need to and over functioning for some person or some group." She goes on to talk about how some people tend to overfunction while other people tend to underfunction. In other words, some people will walk into an event and will end up taking over the whole thing, right? You know exactly the kind of folks I'm talking about. While other people walk in and same event, same things going on and do what feels like absolutely nothing. Neither extreme is healthy necessarily. And the trick, of course, is to strike a balance between over and under functioning in all the things we do. My guess is that if you're listening to me today, you tend to over function more than under function, which is kind of my deal. That's always my challenge. So here are some questions you can ask yourself to try and help. They are, are you really required to do everything you are doing? Is it all yours to do? Do you have to do it right now? Do you want to do it? The questions are there to help you gain some clarity around whether or not you really should be doing all the things that you are doing. As hard as it is for some of us, saying no is not something we should avoid but instead something we should embrace when we need to. Quite often in his own ministry, Jesus would leave one thing in order to continue to do what he knew he was there to do. He would say no when he had to. Today's message is for all the overfunctioners in the world. Hear me when I say this. It's okay to say no for the sake of your own spiritual, emotional, and mental health. Give that some thought this week and take care of yourself. I'll see you again soon.